Hey, I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to have a very fun and chill video and show you five potentially frumpy trends that are going on right now and will be really big this fall season. And I wanted to show you a frumpy version and an outfit which a lot of people might think about wearing. And then I wanted to show you how to make it fabulous because I do think some of these trends that have a tendency to go frumpy can still look really good if they are put together with the right pieces. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and hitting the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So the first potentially frumpy item is a pair of cargo pants. And I absolutely love the cargo pants. I think they're fun and they are really on trend this coming season. And I actually got these at J. Crew last year. It was, I think it was in the spring and summer and I have really struggled on putting outfits together with them. So this is very much a look that you're trying to go with and the parachute style cinches at the ankle and I love the idea of that and I loved that I could find one that wasn't like that nylon material. These are actually a cotton and they're really comfortable but I can also let them out and wear them as a wide leg so I love the versatility there but they are a struggle so I want to show you what I put together with them and the first option is a very frumpy option. This is what I see a lot of people do and they put this big oversized sweater with these big oversized oversized pockety pants and it just doesn't look very good and this doesn't provide me any shape it might look really comfortable and you know you could throw it on and wear it around your house but I probably wouldn't leave the house in this my favorite option is to either throw on a cropped sweater and when I say cropped these are just shorter sweaters and you can see this sweater is still really chunky and it's actually quite cute with the cargo pants and just cinching them at the bottom and adding a chunky shoe to the outfit really helps bring balance. What I did try with this that was pretty terrible was a pair of ankle boots that I thought were going to work and they didn't work at all. So the ankle boots were too thin, the style was all wrong, and I just really didn't create that look that these cargo pants were needing. And so the best option was a chunkier shoe to help balance the chunky top. And then I decided to try my sweatshirt that I have on now. I just got this and I love it. It's so comfortable because I wanted a casual outfit that looked really trendy. And so I thought I should grab my loafers, my chunky loafers, even though they're black. I, it, this has a black logo, so I thought it went together really well. And then I added the black belt. I did front tuck it because that is what I like to do. I pulled it out to see what it would look like. And it wasn't terrible if you wanted to do that, if you broke it up with a little crossbody bag or something and the sweatshirt wasn't too oversized or too long. I think it's actually really cute. So either way you could do that. And then I wanted to try some dressier looks. So I wanted to try a couple of blazers. And the first one is of course the frumpy option, which is the oversized blazer that is very popular right now. And I do love this blazer, but this is another item in my closet that I've had trouble styling. So this is my second item and I put it with my first item. And these do have a tendency to be very frumpy. And <laughs> if you, you really have to create a look with these as well. And I have styled my blazer with a lot of things. And this is not one of those things that I need to wear them with. So the reason why this looks bad is because everything is kind of one note. Everything is oversized from top to bottom and it just doesn't make any sense and it doesn't create any shape. So what I did is I just changed out the blazer to a new cropped blazer that is very on trend as well. And this is a better look. So if you can wear cropped blazers, definitely try them or just shorter jackets. There's a lot of shorter jackets that say they're cropped, but they're not really cropped like this one. It just comes to my hips and I feel like it's a very perfect length on me. So if you can't do a cropped version, then find something that is just not so long and oversized and just try different things with it if you want to create a look like this. So now I wanna continue on with the oversized blazer because I do think this is a really big trend and it's definitely going to continue into fall. And this is my favorite one that I showed you with the other cargo pants. And I have put this on with my slimmer cargo pants, which I absolutely love these. I think they're still available too. I got them last year and they're absolutely wonderful. So um, this is a better option if you like slimmer bottoms as opposed to messing with the looser, more oversized ones. Although that can be a lot of fun. This is just easier. It fits into my wardrobe a lot better. I think it goes with some of the oversized pieces a little bit better but I wanted to show you the first option that is another frumpy option with these cargo pants because if you put on a very slim shoe with an outfit like this and you've got this oversized blazer that has shoulder pads in it that 
maybe get, it gives bulk to your upper body. With my shape, it doesn't work to have these shoes on. And so it makes me look too small at the bottom and too big at the top. And we definitely don't want to do that. So how I created the fabulous version is with the loafers I have on because it balances the jacket. It actually creates still a little bit more of a dressier look. It's not super casual. And I think it's kind of perfect and i think if you have chunkier ankle boots you could absolutely do that as well but the streamlined boots with the kitten heel just didn't have enough substance to them to create balance in the outfit so in this section i just want to remind you this is about balance so whatever it is your shape is you want to balance your body from top to bottom so i have broader shoulders which it I should, probably shouldn't be wearing a blazer like this, but I absolutely love it. So I do make it work with some things like I did here, and that's how I do it, is I just add a little bit more volume to my bottom half, whether it's in my shoes or maybe with a straight leg jean that is a light wash as opposed to a dark wash. So it tracks attention to it a little bit more. So there are two items in this section that I want to talk about that can be potentially frumpy, and you will agree with me. So oversized bomber jackets, super easy to look frumpy and then wide leg jeans again these are trends that have been going for a while and i'm just getting into the oversized bomber jackets i thought this one was a lot of fun although i've had a challenge with the color and wide leg jeans have been around now for several seasons so we're getting kind of used to them but still there are outfits that can look very frumpy like this one that i want to show you with the two combined so this is one of those outfits that is all one note it just does not look good it doesn't create any shape it makes me look bigger than i am although again it's super comfortable and all the pieces are cute they're just not really executed properly so the best way i think to create an outfit with this is actually the first thing i want to do is slim down the jeans so instead Instead of doing the wide leg jeans so we're going to concentrate on the oversized bomber jacket first so adding a slimmer jean on the bottom is definitely helpful and whatever that looks like for you mine kicks out a little bit on the end and has a step hem so it's a little bit more fun and it's really slender through the leg and i think the kick out actually helps to balance because i don't have a super chunky shoe on but i think the outfit underneath is balanced and then you throw over the jacket and it just adds a little bit of cuteness and i really loved this for a casual everyday look and then if you wanted to pair a dark jean with it i also loved a black and white striped t-shirt underneath it with a pair of black ankle boots so i think both of these options are fabulous options i think my proportions are great you can see my shape underneath the oversized jacket and it still creates a nice on-trend look so now for the wide leg jeans i'm going to show that outfit to you again and i'm actually just going to take off the bomber jacket because just taking off the bomber jacket made a huge difference in this outfit because I have a little bit of a shorter um, sweatshirt on, a little hoodie that actually has um, kind of a wider shoulder span and I thought it helped balance the wide leg jeans so you can see how I've balanced myself again here and I am more of a rectangle shape so this actually adds bulk to my top half and to my bottom half which is very helpful to make my waist look smaller and I just kept on the sneakers and everything else and thought this was a better version than putting the jacket over it so if you do want to wear a bomber jacket with your wide leg jeans then the best way to do that is to find one that fits a little bit better and if you don't like a bomber jacket I think a moto jacket or even you know just some type of short jacket if the wide legs are a trouser you could wear a shorter denim jacket but I really think that you should stay away from oversized jackets with your looser leg jeans and I thought the combination with the stripes actually draws your eye in and helps create shape I did tuck the t-shirt in so I could have my waistline show and I did add a booty that has a little bit of a heel on it that gives me a little bit of height which I think is sometimes better when you're wearing a wide leg jean as well so midi and maxi denim skirts are going to be huge this fall and winter season so I wanted to include it in this video because I really think that they are very challenging to style and they can become frumpy on your body especially if you are 5'4 and below so if you have that petite frame that can be a little bit overwhelming so I do recommend if you are petite like I am that you find one that fits you well and either comes mid calf or above so right below the knee would be good but something that you could wear a lot of different things with because I think if this one was shorter this next outfit would have been a little bit better so this is the frumpy version that I want to talk about it's the chunky cropped sweater that you saw from the beginning and I really want to wear this together but it just doesn't work because the skirt is a little bit too long and it just 
all looks a little too overwhelming on my body. And so what I have to do is put on something with a heel to make this look better. So my fabulous version is with this knee high boot that I have that I love. And this is my favorite boot with this skirt. I just love that it creates kind of a seamless look at the bottom and you're not seeing my leg, which can be unattractive and you know, Anyway, I really, really love these boots with this skirt and I can style a lot of things with it since I have these boots and they do give me a little bit of height. So if you are shorter and you like wearing heels and you get about two, three, four inches on your height, then you can make something like this work really well. And so I think that made the sweater combination look a lot better. And then I wanted to show you my absolute favorite way to wear this skirt, which is with more fitted tops and then a cute little layer. So I just put on a body suit that's in a green color that I love and I put on my moto vest in ivory and this is a perfect transitional season and early fall outfit for me so I wanted to show you this because I definitely think that this makes me look taller and it makes my figure look a lot better so I really hope you enjoyed all of those frumpy to fabulous looks and I really hope that they were helpful for you if you've been struggling with some of these trends because I think they're great trends but they do have a tendency to go more towards the frumpy side if you do not put them together well. And also product links will be in the description for you and YouTube now allows product links so you will see it on the screen of the video and you can click it and it will take you to a lot of the products but if you don't see anything definitely message me in the comments and I will get back to you. I promise. So thanks for watching. Love your neighbor. Be kind and I'll talk to you next time.